Here's a Surf On Tablet Pro. This is the 2023 model. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Okay, so first thing is go ahead and turn it on. Press and hold that power button. Wait till it boots up. Then you should be on this screen here. Go ahead and choose your language. I'm good with English in the United States. I will tap start for myself. Connect to a Wi-Fi. I can set up online, but I want to go ahead and connect now so I can get that latest software update. Put in my Wi-Fi password here, then pressed connect, obtaining IP address. Okay, I guess it's connected now and getting your tablet ready. This will take a few minutes. Okay, so now it says copy apps and data. Let me just turn this to the side. So it says copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, basically your Gmail address and more. Okay, so if you want to do that, you would just tap on next here and then bring your old uh, Android or Samsung phone, your iPhone over here and then tap on next. Okay, if not, no problem. Let me go back here. So for myself, I'm just going to click on don't copy just for myself. Okay, so who's going to use the device? Now take note, it says down here, sharing this device, if you're sharing it with you and somebody else, you can create profiles for everyone using this device. Okay, anyway, for, I'm using this for myself, so an adult or teen up here. Google account, you can go ahead and sign to your Gmail account now, or if you don't have one, you can create one, or you can go ahead and skip it and sign in later if you wish. Okay, myself, I'll just sign in later. I don't remember my password right now. Date and time, adjust if needed, okay? And then go ahead and tap them on next. Google services, go ahead and read through these. All these are optional, okay? Use location, allow scanning, uh, send use a die next. Those are all optional, okay? So it's up to you. For me, I'm fine with having all three of them toggled on. And for myself, I will tap on accept. Go ahead and set a pin or a password. Now you can skip this, but I would advise just put some kind of password in there right now. So. It's, uh, it has to be four digits here, so let me choose one. Okay, I chose it, now I'll tap on next. It's gonna ask me to re-enter one more time to confirm. And I'll tap on confirm now. And you can go ahead and read through this. Uh, this one here, uh, talk to Google with the power button. So you can now, you can now press and hold the power button to access Google Assistant. So if you want to power off, you can press and hold the uh, press both the power button and volume up at the same time, or you can power say power off to your assistant. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So I'll tap on got it down here. System navigation, you can do gesture navigation or the three button navigation. I mean, ninety percent of you guys are going to go with the gesture navigation, and I'm fine with that as well. Let me tap on next. And voila, we are done, guys. Pretty simple. Questions or issues? Just comment below. Good luck.